I felt the need to make a video about Mechanica. The reason for that is because Mechanica is gone. This is Coaster Stop, and I will always try to keep the information on this channel as close to the facts as I can, and at the same time be the first one to bring you the news. The fact is, you heard me right. Mechanica is no longer at Liseberg. Or to be accurate, I don't think that the ride is going to be in Sweden for much longer. But don't worry, Mechanica is coming back to Liseberg. Watch this full video to find out why I think that Mechanica is no longer at the park and where I think that Mechanica is going. <laughs> Before we talk about that, let's talk about what Mechanica is. Mechanica is, in my opinion, a very important part of what Liseberg is today. It basically started with Kaninlandet, Helix and then Mechanica. All of the three mentioned have something in common. Great theming and storytelling. And with Mechanica, Liseberg kept working on something that they had done so good before. The social media interaction. The website Project Helix and the YouTube videos were great and Lisebae did the same with Mechanica. Not at the same level of course, but still great. Mechanica opened in 2015 and it's not only a thrill ride. The theming is amazing and the ride is so pretty at night. Since Lisebae did such a great job with social media interaction, there are quite a few videos about this ride. My idea is that we are going to look at two of those in this video. One of them is very short and that is just when they place the last piece of the ride and the other one is from the designing of the ride. Let's add the last piece to Mechanica. That was it, how hard can it be? Kidding, it is very complicated to build a ride like this. But before the ride is built, we need to design it, the queue, and so on. Let's have a listen to David Schofield, the creative director of Lisebay, and what he has to say about the design of Mechanica. We want to give people an immersive experience. Basically. The why is before we do the what. It gives us the toolbox to, to work. It gives us a framework to work uh, within. I mean, it's a good place to start, and then you know what you can do within that framework. You know, we all need a certain amount of adrenaline, and that's where the sort of concept meets the actual physical thing, when we're talking about this change in body state, basically. So hopefully, you know, you get pumped up and people start to smile. We see it now under construction and believe me, it's exciting. It's, uh, it's a fantastic experience to... We've really built this, you know, it's a great... It, well, I can't explain it really. It's a privilege to do what we do, basically. Um, I always say it's better than working. Thank you, David. And while we are talking about it, David, thanks for the amazing job you, your team and everyone at Lisebay are doing with bringing these amazing attractions and areas alive. You are all fantastic. Mechanica is a Sierer star shape. Sierer is a German ride manufacturer. Mechanica is 30 meters tall. The ride length is about three minutes. The ride has six arms and five seats per arm. That would be 30 riders per time. The hourly capacity is 350 persons per hour. The height restrictions is 140 centimeters. The cost of Mechanica was 30 million Swedish crowns. We want to offer our guests something that expands beyond the actual 90 seconds of the ride. 
with a unique design, carefully selected music and inspiration from the 18th century Gothenburg. We want to create a holistic experience. A strange machine at the same time modern and historical in its language, as taken from a fairy tale, says Andreas Andersen, CEO of Liseberg. You have just watched the full commercial for the release of Mechanica. Okay, the ride have now been open a couple of years and I liked the ride from the beginning. Lately it has been a favorite to film and take photos of, especially at night as you can see in this picture. But this summer when the park opened I decided to go for a ride and I think it is so much fun. I rode it quite a few times this year to be honest. But what happened now? Why? Is it empty where Mechanica is supposed to be? When I first found out about this, I thought I saw wrong and I had to look again and then again. Guess what? Half of Mechanica was gone. The day after, two big cranes were standing next to Mechanica and hours later, the ride was gone. Magic. Was this an act of Joe Labero or David Copperfield? At first I thought so, but no, this was the act of Lisa Bide. Mechanica has been taken down and is right now laying on the parking lot. I will point out that from now on this is only me guessing, but the fact is Mechanica is not in its spot, it is laying in a parking lot. And the reason for that could be many. Be sure that Lisebae is not scrapping the ride. It is very popular and it's going to come back. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be there when the park is opening. And without watching this video, many of you wouldn't have even known that Mechanica was gone. Could it be that Lisebae have taken it down for an inspection? I really don't think so. I think that there is something else going on. And that could be some kind of upgrade. Let's say that the ride need to have some kind of work in some way. I do not know what and I do not know why, but this is what I think. As I said, I think they took down Mechanica to do some kind of upgrade in some way. In April, Mechanica will stand in its usual place and we have no idea what happened. That is my best guess. Thank you so much for watching this mini documentary about Mechanica at Lisebae and I hope that you found it interesting. Please like the video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. This is Coaster Stop and take care until we see each other again.